The part of Russell. Let's start off with the nucleus. A nucleus is a control center of a cell. It contains most of the cell's genetic material, and it's also the site of synthesis of ribonucleic acid or RNA. It precisely duplicates its DNA in preparation preparation for cell division. The nucleus has subparts, which are namely the chromatin, nuclear envelope, and the nucleolus. The nuclear envelope is selectively permeable to control movement in or out of the cell and contains nuclear contents. The chromatin contains instructions that control metabolism and heredity. The nucleolus is the place where the DNA is copied and it also works with the ribosomes in the protein synthesis. The mitochondrion is also known as cellular power plant because it gives the cell energy. It generates most of the supply of adenosine triphosphate or ATP. It is also the site of cellular respiration. These are rod-shaped organelles composed of modified membranes. Then we go to Golgi complex. The Golgi complex packages protein and carbohydrate into membrane-bound vesicles for export or distribution from the cell. It is made of stacks of flattened sacs of unit membrane and vesicles pinch off its edges. Lysosomes Lysosomes are vesicles that contain specific enzymes that breaks down large molecules. These enzymes can digest food particles to provide nutrients for the cell. It also helps recycle materials in the cell by digesting old, damaged, or unused organelles. It is a vesicle that contains enzymes. It is also made by the Golgi apparatus or complex. Now for ribosomes. It is the site of protein synthesis. It contains RNA or ribonucleic acid and protein which you can find in all cells. There are two kinds of endoplasmic reticulum or ER. We'll first talk about the smooth endoplasmic reticulum. The smooth endoplasmic reticulum helps in many metabolic processes like synthesis of lipids and steroids, also in the metabolism of carbohydrates. It consists of tubules and vesicles that branch forming a network. Now for the rough ER. It plays a central role in the synthesis of and export of proteins. Its surface is studded with protein manufacturing ribosomes, giving it a rough appearance. A vesicle is a bubble of liquid within a cell. It stores or transports substances within a cell. Most of them have special functions depending on what material they contain on. Vesicles are small, 
intracellular membrane closed sac. The vacuole allows the plant to stand upright because of the water it stores. This a large vesicle, which is also used for storing nutrients, water, metabolites, and waste products. There is a membrane that surrounds a mass of fluid. In that fluid are the stored nutrients or waste products. Now for the chloroplast. The chloroplast is a site of photosynthesis. It's an organelle that uses light energy to make sugar from carbon dioxide and water. It is a food producer of cells. It is composed of a double layer of modified membrane. It is contained in an envelope that consists of an inner, inner and outer phospholipid membrane. The cell wall. It provides skeletal support for the plant and gives the plant its shape and allows it to grow in great heights. It's composed of cellulose, contains openings that make it totally permeable. Cyto cytoplasm It's a jelly-like substance outside the cell nucleus in which organelles are located or suspended. <laughs> there are two types of cells, eukaryotic and prokaryotic. Eukaryotic means true nucleus. It contains membrane-bound compartments in which specific metabolic activities takes place. Most especially, this has a nucleus. The parts of the cells I've been talking about earlier is part of the eukaryotic cell. The second kind of cell is the prokaryotic cell. It's a cell that is lacking a nucleus. The two kinds are bacteria and archaea. Photosynthesis and cellular respiration. Photosynthesis is a process by which plants, algae, and some bacteria use sunlight, carbon dioxide, and water to produce carbo carbohydrates and oxygen. During photosynthesis, one electron transport chain provides energy to make ATP, while the other provides energy to make NADPH. The Calvin cycle is a biochemical pathway of photosynthesis in which carbon dioxide is converted into glucose using ATP and NADPH. Cellular respiration is the proce process by which cells produce energy from carbohydrates. Through this process, cells make produce energy. Hip, hip. 